Hello world, this is Mike with Backward Machining. Well, I just got finished programming this VFD, and uh, what a trip it's been. So, though it's normally against my better judgment to do any kind of videos that involve electricity, I'm going to do this one with the disclaimer that you really should not touch any electricity like this if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you can get really hurt. So, with that said, uh, I'm just going to show you the basics of what I've what I've done because uh, this thing is very misleading, especially as far as the instructions go. Now, first things first, how I hooked it up, even the wiring diagram is misleading because it's single phase or three phase input and. The only wiring diagrams that come with it all show the three-phase input to the RST. Now, you bypass the T. Uh, hang on, let me clean my lens. You bypass the T for single phase, and you just use the RS. Now, the red wire you see is the ground wire. Uh, I don't have a green one, so it is what it is. Uh, now, going to the motor are these three legs here. This is the UVW. And all I did was I copied on the motor. Here's the W. And it's also on the block. Now, <clears throat> you need to know... Your motor settings, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this very well. Uh, 220 volt, 300 hertz, 18,000 RPM, 4,000 watt, 10 amp. Now, the way you set this up, and again, like I said, it, it is kind of misleading. Uh, we'll go through this. It won't take long. Uh, but just a couple things like for for like right here for instance it says p 0 0.03 maximum frequency now to get to that what you do is you hit program data scroll down to 003 data and then that gives you your number you scroll through using the shift to get to each individual digit, raise and lower as needed, and then hit set. Now it's set at 300 hertz max. You want your upper limit the same. So now that is P004. It's already on it. But again, if you weren't here, if you just hit this, it would bring you to this. You can hit either or, but just to keep it simple, bring it up to four, hit it again, and bring it to 300 hertz. Now that is your max upper limit. Basically what it is, is you have to do your maximum total the upper limit of the potentiometer, and then the lower limit of the potentiometer, which is this. So the next one, which is P005, is set to 50. Now that is, I don't know if that's standard, because it was that way with this. The book says zero. Uh, so I just left it as 50. I mean, it works, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and then basically you go down this list. Uh, it's going to depend on whether or not you're going to be tying into some of these, which I will be in the future. I'm just not right now. This is how Mach 3 is going to be turning this on and off and adjusting the speed. 
again, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but you have the 10 volt, the ground, and um, COM, I believe, and PW. I think those are the ones that are used for Mach 3. Uh, now, <clears throat> the, the last step to this is setting your the rest of your motor. Now, I showed you the panel, and it's basically this right here. You need to set your rated power, which on mine was 4 kilowatts. So, I'll go through it with you. This is P201. Um... Oh, excuse me. You got to go to 2. And then 01. Now, 4.0 is 4 kilowatt. At least, that's how I read it. Um, goes down to 0.4. And then up to 3,000. Um, save. And then it automatically goes to the next one, which in the book will be the motor's rated frequency, uh, which is 300 hertz. And I have it set for 300 hertz. And again, if you need to set these numbers, you just hit shift and it moves the cursor over. Goes up to three. The speed of the motor, the voltage of the motor, and the current. So, 18,000 RPM is the speed. The It was a 220 volt motor. And it's 10 amps. And basically, that's it. Now, if you go back to the pad here, just to double check everything, make sure we didn't miss anything. 300 hertz, 220, 18,000, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, You hit run. Now, this will shut off eventually. But in the meantime, this controls your speed. And that's it. Now, this is your, it's telling you your hertz. So you have zero to max. That is the speed, how it controls the speed of your motor. Now, when I bought this motor, here's the thing. It said zero to 18,000, which was great. However, after reading the Chinese instructions, there's something that is very misleading that I did not see on Amazon. And that is, you're not allowed to run this thing any lower than 16,000 without voiding any warranty. 
So you're supposed to keep this motor between 16 and 18,000 RPM. Now that's a problem for me because I was planning on doing other things with this spindle. So it's looking like this is not the spindle I wanted. So I might end up having to get another spindle. But in any case, you know, that's my problem, not yours. But I wanted to show you guys uh, a couple of things. A, how to set it up, and B, something to be cautious about. That these air-cooled spindles, uh, what they're rated for for the RPM, is basically what you're supposed to run them at. Otherwise, you will uh, risk voiding your warranty according to the manual. Anyway, that's it, guys, for tonight, and I'll talk to you later.